Hello everybody, today we're going to be trying peanut butter M&M's and macarons from Aldi and then the M&M's are from Walmart. So let's start with the macarons. It says specially selected assorted chocolate macarons. So, serving size 3 macarons. Total fat 10%. Saturated fat 16%, cholesterol 3%, sodium 1%, total carbohydrate 7%, dietary fiber 3%, added sugar 28%, and protein 3 grams. And the flavors are dark chocolate, milk chocolate, white chocolate, and mocha. So I have tried the dark chocolate one first. I cut them in half. The dark chocolate one is really good. It's not too bitter. It's really chewy. The next one I'm going to try is the milk chocolate. This one is really good. It's creamy, chewy. The next one I'm going to try is the white chocolate. It's a little bit sweet, but not as sweet as usual how white chocolate is. And the next one is mocha. It's definitely like a medium taste of coffee so if you don't like coffee flavored things you probably wouldn't like this overall they're really good I would definitely get them again I bought them from Aldi so I on the back it says to leave it in the fridge for 45 minutes and then 20 minutes at room temperature for the best taste so that's what I did Next up, we're going to be trying the peanut butter M&M's. Serving size is 16 pieces. Total fat 10%. Saturated fat 25%. Cholesterol 0%. Sodium 3%. Carbohydrates 6%. Dietary fiber 4%, added sugar 26%, and protein 3 grams. And if you're a vegetarian, the red one, the red M&M is not vegetarian. So I have the m and in here. I'm going to try a uh, blue one.
It definitely tastes like a regular M&M with like a little bit of peanut butter. It doesn't taste like that much peanut butter like how a Reese's Pieces has. Let me try another one. Which is the... Try a yellow one. They're okay. I probably, if I had to get M&M's, I would still get the peanut ones instead of the regular ones or the peanut butter one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for new video uploads.